Ashin and welcome back to my channel. So today I got ready to go to a friend's place and I thought like I will just film it and show you guys how I get ready with the makeup and hairs and everything. So I'm not a hair expert. I just did a loose curl on my hair and felt like, like I'll show you guys because I have a quick technique to do my curls but I'm not a hair expert guys. I just do my makeup. So let's see how I get ready. Okay, so let's get ready with me. I'm gonna start off with this Benefit Professional. I'll just put it on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. I didn't put it all over my face and I have already primed my face with my Philosophy Moisturizer. For the rest of my face, I'll use this MAC Strobe Cream. I have dry skin, so I use something that has some a little bit like dewy texture or some opalescence texture and this strobe cream is great to add some extra dewy finish on your foundation. Now moving on to my foundation, I'll use my Dior Skin Star foundation like always and I'm gonna use my 3D HD Kabuki brush from Sigma. I have no idea guys what eye look I'm gonna wear today. I have some idea about the shades I'm gonna go for but I don't know what products exactly I'm gonna use. We will see. Now to cover my blemishes, I will use my Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm just using my finger to dab it wherever I need some extra coverage. And I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes. It will work as a corrector because it has some orange undertone. Now for my under eye concealer, I'll use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer like always and I will do a little bit highlighting, that's why I'm using a little bit lighter color. And since my under eye will be a little bit lighter, I'll put the highlighting on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cheek just to make everything you know put together because otherwise if you just put highlighter on your under eyes it looks like bright the other places are pretty neutral so I just want to balance a little bit so whatever is left on my brush I will put it on my eyelid to correct any darkness I have over there I know uh, when I'm looking at my viewfinder I can see that it's it looks like pretty stark white but in person it's not that bad it's just a uh, little bit you know highlighting but it's not that intense for lighting and everything here it is looking very stark white I know oh my god when I'm looking at my viewfinder I'm getting scared what is this but trust me guys because it's just because of the lighting now I will highlight a little bit more with this um, Jorat Cosmetics BB Plus highlighter I'll just put it on the high points of my cheek a beautiful beautiful highlighter so I'll use the same concealer brush I have used the Sigma F86 I don't know whether I have mentioned earlier when I was using this brush but this is the Sigma F86 tapered kabuki brush I like it to use the liquid products or the cream products especially the concealer and the liquid highlighter it blends like a dream now just to set everything, I will use my MAC Prep and Prime setting powder and I'm using a Sigma tapered highlighter brush, what's that, F35. So in my day-to-day -day life, I don't uh, use this tape that often but today I'm feeling like doing a little bit extra highlighting. So I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'll put it under my eye areas just to, you know, highlight it. So for bronzer, today I'm not going to go for very intense contouring, so I'll go for this MAC blush, it's called Harmony. Currently I'm really enjoying this, um, especially to contour a little bit, not too much. For my skin tone, it doesn't show up that much, like if you want to go for a very strong contouring, it's not going to show up that much, but for very light contouring, it really works and it has some cool grey undertone, so it really creates a shadow without making it look too orange and I don't know whether I have mentioned I'm using this makeup geek 
rounded what's that called blush brush so it's called blush brush it's like very small for applying blushes so i use it mostly for applying bronzers but it's pretty dense so i usually go over this with another brush mac 109 that's a little bit fluffier so that diffuses the color a little bit so i apply the bronzer or whatever the contouring shade i'm using with this brush first and then i go for mac 109 so I have switched to MAC 109. I don't have any product here, so I will just softly diffuse the product here. So for blush today, I'm going to use my current obsession. This one is the Becca Gypsy Blush. When I first got this blush, I was not so sure about the color because in pan it looks very pale, so I thought it might look a little bit ashy on my skin tone, but it's just beautiful. It leaves a beautiful pinky glow to the skin and it has some sheen, so... It has some gold particles on it and it, it gives a beautiful sheen. Sometimes I can just wear it by itself without any highlighter and it looks beautiful on the cheek. So let me show you guys, you can see that. I don't know whether the camera is picking it up, but it leaves a beautiful pinky glow. It's such a beautiful everyday blush. I don't know whether the camera is picking it up, but it leaves a beautiful, beautiful sheen to the skin and I love this blush. So for highlighter, I'm going to use another Becca product today, my favorite Becca Oppo. You guys are probably bored of me using this product, but I love it. I really love this highlighter. Now I go with the foundation brush and press it a little bit on my cheek just to blend the highlighting and the blush color together because sometimes, you know, when I use the highlighter, there is a streak mark there. So I just want to make sure that everything is blended together and looks perfect. And if you ever end up over applying your blushes, you can also use this technique just to, you know, press the, your foundation brush a little bit on your cheek and it will just blend all the colors together and tone it down a little bit. So before moving on to eyes, let me just quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Brunette or Dark, dark Brown. I think they call it Dark Brown now. And I'm gonna fill in, I have some bald spaces here, so I just fill in that part first and then just quickly fill in the rest of the part very lightly. Now I'm toning down everything with this pulley. So if you ever over apply anything on your brows, you can just use the spoolie to tone it down a little bit. If we are hearing any background noise, that's my hobby downstairs watching movies. It's Sunday. So moving on to my eyes, as I said, I don't know what products exactly I'm going to use. I have my Makeup Geek palette here, so I'm going to use this palette, but I don't know what colors exactly I'm going to use today. Let's see. We will see how it goes. But I'm going to start off using this NARS Pro Prime. I'll use a little bit under my eye areas because I generally use eyeshadows there too. So first of all, I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow on my lid and this one is the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow. What's the name? It's called No Pressure. So I got it with a kit so it, it is very tiny but the regular size is pretty big. It's a beautiful taupey brown color with a hint of silver to it. I don't know how to describe this. Now I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush. This one is J5522. And let me think what quiz color I'm going to use. I think I'll go for peach smoothie. This one here. I think it's not peach smoothie. It's crumble. So I'll put it on the quiz. You don't have to be very precise with it. I'm just trying to blend any harsh line from the cream eyeshadow and just put some color on my crease. Now I'm going to use a slightly dense brush. This one is J5523 and I'll put this color. This one is Country Girl. I just got this one today. So I'm feeling like using it a little bit. It's a beautiful like burnt brick color. And I will focus mostly on the outer part of my crease. I'll bring it inward up to like half of the lid, but I'm not going to the inner corner of my lid. 
mostly focusing on the outer third, bringing it forward to the center. So when I'm using this color, I'm trying to hold my brush like this, like the downward slanted and trying to drag the color a little bit to the outer side, like a wing. So I'll go back to this fluffy blending brush. I don't have any additional product here. I'm just trying to blend it a little bit with the skin. Now let's move on to the main lid color. I think I'm going to use this eyeshadow. This one is a um, Make a Big Foil eyeshadow in Grandstand. So whenever I have a doubt that I don't know what eyeshadow look I'm gonna go for, I go for this one because this is a safe choice. It's a beautiful rose gold color and it goes with almost any outfit. Can you see how metallic these eyeshadows are? I'm not using any mixing medium. And these are so metallic. I love this. I need to order a few more. So I have a whole review on these foiled eyeshadows. I'll put the link down below. So if you're just interested to watch that because these are the new foil formulas from Makeup Geek. So they have just launched it in last month, I guess. Okay, so now what I'm gonna use, um, let me think. I think I'll go with this dark brown shade. This one is Butter Bean. And I'm gonna use this tapered blending brush. This one is Makeup Geek Outer V brush. It's not blending brush, it's like pencil brush. And I will focus on the outer V mainly. So I don't try to blend it with this brush because this is not that good for blending, but it packs on the color really well. So I just use it to pack on the color on my outer V, then I use another brush just to blend it. Now I'm gonna use a very tapered brush. This one is J5529, as you can see, it's very tapered. And I'm just gonna blend this out of the color with the crease. So I don't have any additional product here, so this brush was clean. Finally, I'll go back to Country Girl one more time, and this time I'm gonna use another tapered blending brush. This one is J146. You can also use the brush I have used for the outer V color. So I'm just gonna focusing it on the upper crease. So I don't wanna spoil the Butterbean shadow I have used there, but I just wanna add some color because the blending has lost some pigmentation there. Now I'll take a little bit of cupcake and with the same brush, I just blend here on the inner third. For highlighting, I'm gonna use this Shima Shima. It's a beautiful highlighter. And I'll use the small smudge brush from Sigma. Now I'm going back to my tapered blending brush just to make sure that the highlighting doesn't leave any harsh mark there so just trying to make sure that they blend together with the crease color now for my lower lid i'll go back to this country girl and i'm using makeup geek pencil brush and i'm focusing the color mainly on the outer half of the lower lash line and for the inner half i'll use the same grandstand And now just to make sure that everything is blended together, I'm gonna take the same first blending shade I have used, Crumble Lip, and I'm taking a tapered blending brush just to sweep it a little bit to make sure that everything is blended together here. So I guess that's all about the eyeshadows. Let me just apply some eyeliner on my lower lash line and I'm using this Ardency in Black Eyeliner. I don't know what is the name, I think that's the blackest one they have. I'm using the NARS gel eyeliner and my MAC 210 brush. I don't think I'm gonna go for very intense wing today. I'm just trying to define the upper lash line a little bit. Okay, so I didn't flick it out that much. I just put a little tiny wing there, a little bit, not that much. I don't want to go too intense today, not even that much. So that's all with the eyeliner and eyeshadows. Now I'll just curl my lashes a little bit. For mascara, I'm gonna go for my Tarte Light Camera Lashes. This is the one I'm currently loving a lot. 
So today I'm gonna go for a little bit brighter lip. This is the only thing I was sure of at the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna use this Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Vintage. And I will use the lip liner from Colourpop Cosmetics. What's the shade name? It's Grind. Just lovely. Do I have anything on my teeth? No, I don't think so. So that's it guys. That's all about the face. And now I will do something with the hairs. I don't know. I will just do a quick curl maybe. So hold on a second. Let me think. Okay, so I have a quick technique of curling my hair, so I'll not go for a detailed curling because I didn't have that much time in hand right now, but I'll show you guys, that's a little trick. So for curling my hairs, I'm just brushing my hairs with this tangle teaser and now I will make a ponytail. So this is the curling method I use when I don't need that much like tight curls, but it just gives some wave. And it's really easy, like in 10 minutes you can get the curl. So the curls will be on the, like this half of the area. So I'm not have curls all over my hairs, but it looks pretty. And I just have used a hairband, but I didn't make it very tight so that it doesn't leave any bump there. So here is your ponytail. So let me tell you guys, this is not going to give you any tight curls. So this is the quickest way to get some, a little bit wave on your hair. So this works for me. So I just want to put this disclaimer because you might think that this is a crazy way to get your hair curled. So the color I'm going to use today is this Hot Tool 1.5 inch one. So this will give you a little bit like softer curls. If you want more tighter curls, you can use the smaller barrels. So what I'm going to do is I'll just take a small section of my hair and I'll just wrap it around this wand. So here you go. You just get a very loose wave here. So I'll take another section, brush it a little bit. And wrap it around. I'm taking pretty big sections so if you want more tighter curls you can go for you know smaller sections but this one just works for me. I don't like that much tight curls. So in this way I'll do the rest of my hair. I will probably just fast forward it. with all the curling now I will remove this band oh my god this looks a little bit crazy so let me just brush it a little bit so here is my waves now I don't know whether you can see so here is my wave now so as I said like this is gonna give you a little extra volume and wave so it's not gonna give you that intense curl so my front here is only, I'll do a little bit extra curling here maybe. So as you can see, I have only focused on the bottom half of my hair here as well, just to make it seamless with the other hairs because on the other part, I have just focused on the, you know, lower half of the. I'll just go a little more later on, but now I'll just let it cool for a while then i'll probably comb a little bit and tease so as you can see that now my hair is a lot more voluminous and here is the curl it might not look that intense on camera but as i said i just wanted to go for a little wave not like the intense tight curl so this is the quickest way to achieve that just in five to ten minutes so if you don't like your front hair to hang around here then you can also take it backward and pin it so you can also tease it a little bit if you want 
and just secure it with a clip and a bobby pin. So I go both ways, sometimes I put it backward or sometimes I just leave it like this. Now the hair will not come in front of your face. So that's the finished look guys with hair and makeup. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this look and don't judge me for the hair guys. This is the quickest method to get out of the door for me. It works for me so I feel like I'll just share it with you guys but don't judge me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. In Dr. Formation Canal, it's my 24